Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Apache Tomcat on Eclipse on a Mac. At first you go to this site and the link is down below if you want the link for this and after that just open the Eclipse. This is my one of the projects, just down look at that. And like why we do need the Tomcat is because like whenever we develop a dynamic web project and we need a server to run it so that's why we do it okay at first go to this link and download tad.gz once you download it once you download it unzip it unzip it and put it inside a folder like i put it over here say in my creative cloud files i put it in the apache tomcat 9.03 so over here and then go to the eclipse when you go to the eclipse go to the window menu and go to show view and after that go to others and you can write a server over here a crv and whenever you click just click on this one and it's gonna see right now you can see tomcat 9.0 but whenever there is no server over there it's gonna say like new add a new server like if you don't have anything no server over there it's gonna show there is no server and whenever you right click the control and press the enter button on the mouse then you're gonna see and press the new server after that new server and type over here APA CH Apache. Once you've done that, you're gonna see all those Tomcat version 3, 4, 5 and choose the Tomcat 9. And once you do the Tomcat 9 and just remain the server host name localhost, the remain everything same. Let it be same. let's do eight right now okay because i already have a nine so i cannot get it into a path so i'm just i'm just gonna show you for the eight okay for 8.5 or eight just click the server but in this period if you want to install the tomcat 9 server just click the nine and go to the next but since i already have it i'm gonna show you for the 8.5 tomcat 8.5 server do the next and once you do the next and over here you have to browse it where did where your directory is this browser is creative and click this and press open and once you do that and it's gonna say finish because I have the Apache 9.2 but I, if I put it under the 8.5 it will show me an error but in your case just finish it if you when you finish it it's gonna come this way and the Apache server will be on this configured size and just finished it once you're done finishing this then your server is ready and it's gonna see over here like your server is stopped or something like that and or this this stop is not running so if you want to run the server you have to create a dynamic web project and for that go to the new and you won't be able to find it dynamic web project over here if you have never used it so go over here on the other and write D Y N A dynamic and from here just create a dynamic web project just second project and once you've done that everything is finished okay my second project is created now over here I have to create a solver. See the solver? Now create a solver. Okay, just write the package name. Com dot uh, second C R V L T second solver and
Let's write that my second. Let's write it. It's easy. That way. And do the next. Let it be like that. And over here, it depends upon do you need a construction, super class, in edit class, or do post, do get like it depends upon what you need. So I'll just do get right now. See, the, you're gonna get this one now, to know that if the server is running or not, just press the control button and run as on server one. So you're gonna see the Tomcat server over here. It says it's starting and it's gonna automatically start the server. See server at my seconds. My server is running. And if you wanna go outside the Google and do it, you can do it that either. See my server is running and it's an inside the eclipse as well. So the main thing you need to remember while uh, installing the Tomcat is that you download it and put it inside the folder and after that go to the Eclipse and from the wind from the show view other and after that drive the server over here and you're gonna see the no server over here just do the new one and browse it so if you want to change the port or something like of the server you can do it from here you can add port name if you want to add like a little bit more power I'm using 8080 right now so you can change everything from here and another way to install a Tomcat is by using the terminal but this is easier way and if you want to run by a terminal you just have to browse the Apache and go by bin and there is like start up assets and shut down assets just is the terminal cd it's gonna go to the bin and you just have to start the server dot uh, startup.sh and then your uh, server will start that's all how you install it but to install it it's good way to install it manually and it's easy oh I'm sorry open because like if you do that it's simple and in easily you can integrate with the Eclipse thank you